Hello, I am Robert and welcome to my channel where I talk about everything automated algorithmic trading or simply algo trading. Today I'm going to talk about some changes and updates that I've been making on Jackrabbit TV. Particularly with today's video, I'm going to be talking about the ATR module and specifically some of the changes as to how it affects various recipes. I am going to be using the Bitcoin market since it looks like it is poised to move towards an upswing quite nicely. So let's start with the premise of how I want to get in the market. That is going to be with the three moving averages that I've been using lately and demonstrating as an exceptional yet easy way to figure out where to get in the market. So here are the moving averages. And as you can see from the buys and sells, how they work. The line here is a momentum register. It's 197 because I like prime numbers. You can use 200, but for me, the prime numbers work well for my trading technique. So when all prices are below the momentum and there is a crossover, typically 20 and a 50 for fast and short, but again, I use prime numbers, so 17 and 47 then it makes its purchases appropriately. So as you can see, we have plenty of purchases on the chart. Now normally these purchases would be very aggressive. And that's where the ATR comes in. We want to really filter out how much we purchase. What's nice about this is it works in any time frame very nicely. And it really covers a wide range of market conditions. Whether it's within the cryptocurrency market or the Forex market. So this particular moving average technique has been tested quite sufficiently with very good results. So now that we've done that, we have our entry points. We have the catalyst of when we want to buy. Let's actually overlay the ATR now. The average true range. And I'm going to hide moving averages. So now we can see the actual average true range. And we can see how it really does well for the market. For example, here, a purchase here and a sell over here would bring in a very generous profit. So there's plenty of visual cues. And let's see where the algorithm actually has placed some trades. Okay, right here. We can see a definitive and confirmed trade. We got into the market. Now we can take a simple 1% or 2% and be done, in which case you can see opportunities constantly. So from the standpoint of the ATR, one of the biggest changes that has been made is that it now allows fractional boundaries. The second big change is that it is no longer limited to a maximum of 10 boundaries. So you can scale this very tightly and significantly to get very nice entry points out of the ATR based upon what you're actually looking at. 
and of course changing the moving average and the duration of that moving average will provide you with significantly more control over how it works. So this is really a critical point in terms of overall changes to this module, to this indicator. And the end result provides some exceptional entries. So now let's hide this and let's look at the results, the actual profitability. Now we saw with the purchases, how many purchases we would have taken off of just the moving averages alone. But we can see that with the ATR filter, we only have two trades with a 2% average profit and a very minimal amount of accumulation. This is absolutely critical because of the instability of the market. You want to limit your exposure so you can trade more than one asset as a hedge. You want to be able to maximize your budget and this does an exceptionally good job. So let's look at the entire process put together. The orange markers are the moving averages. So we see exactly where the moving averages by themselves would have bought. And it would have been excessive. Which is not a bad thing if that is the kind of market you want to look at. Because it would be very profitable. And we can actually see that just by switching the DCA from the ATR to the moving averages. But for now, let's look at the actual traffic within the DCA module compared to all of the indicators. That is, how does everything fit together? And we see quite nicely. Let's go back to the entry point. And you can see it handles the market very nicely. So we get in here, everything lines up. The moving averages, the ATR, and the DCA. They all line up very nicely. Price fluctuates but stays within our 1.5% deviation as we began going forward. Now even though price dropped below the 1.5 deviation, the indicators did not align, so a purchase did not take place. Purchases rely on the moving averages and the ATR. That did not happen, so we did not accumulate. That additional layer of protection kept us from getting into a very bad market that we didn't want until opportunity was just right. Here we see the same thing. Prices dropped and only after everything lined up, that being the ATR and the moving averages, did we actually get into the market and make a purchase. And then from there, we can see we made our 2% take profit quite comfortably. So we have the perfect combination of entry and risk mitigation coupled with opportunistic selling. The updates to the ATR module can really be honed in now in such a way that was simply not possible before to the hundreds of a percent of price action and this works on any asset even the ones that well quite frankly are less than desirable and that is really the best thing about this particular combination is even the worst assets are turned into winners with just a little bit of time and patience and they are kept extremely limited for the level 
of accumulation. So let's actually get down into some of the more grittier coins and see just how well this does. Okay. Civic has always been a coin that has had a very nasty history. And it's nasty enough that the algorithm knew it and stayed away. That's the beauty of this kind of approach. It knows when not to get into it. But let's see how it looks at higher time frames. Maybe there's opportunities. And that's really one of the things you need to look at is that an asset like Civic might be poor on one time frame but extremely generous on another. And we can see that that is indeed the case. Four trade cycles in a three minute. And it is incredibly resilient. Only one position. That is really the best kind of trading we want. This works exceptionally well. And the last profit was 2.6%. So as we progress through each asset and we see how they look, we get an idea that this one is not going to be as fast, but it is still going to be quite lucrative. Algorand has had a pretty good run over the last couple of days, and we can see that it is also quite lucrative and very resilient. So it's easy to see how trading 10 or 20 of these coins using this approach with aggregation can be a very good risk mitigation technique and very profitable. You will find this to be true with a lot of different assets. Now you can trade this on the one minute but it will simply take time. That is, if you was to work out the time of the three minute versus the one minute, you're going to get pretty similar results. The market isn't going to fluctuate enough to make a difference between the time frames in terms of how they interact with each other. So let's look at another coin that has a rather difficult history. If you spent any amount of time trading that, you know it is a pain. It is problematic. It's just a headache all the way around. But with the right strategy, it really is very generous. So here we can see that it made three sales and still only one position. That is exceptional. For the headache that this asset really is. That usually is a very aggressive accumulator. So this is really a perfect context. Wonderfully limited, controlled, and profitable. Ethereum is a bit of a slower asset which means it is really good for larger position sizes. But as we can see from the statistics, it is also very controlled. So having assets here that take a little longer to reach a profit level is really remarkably well placed in a market that could have extreme volatility. So as you trade multiple pairs, fast versus slow, you could actually set your system up to pick up on the volatility so that faster pairs automatically trade as the market dynamics shift. This is one of the many things Jackrabbit Relay is capable of doing through the max assets parameter, where you will be able to always have positions open and always capitalize on the positions that make the most volatility automatically. Okay, if you've watched any of my videos, you know how much I disdain this coin. 
it has just been a financial pain in the wallet from day one. I do not like this coin. I do not like trading it. But I am an opportunist. And while passing up opportunity, especially with this level of restrictive control, is something I won't pass up. This is really the hallmark in terms of the strategy. This asset has cost me more money than I really want to admit. And yet, with this technique, I can safely trade it and not worry about how much I accumulate not worry about the market. So this is really a technique with ATR's modified situations you want to take advantage of. There are a lot of different assets here that have caused me headache over the years. This is one of them by all means. Another one is Waves. This one has just been as much of a pain in the backside as Raven as you can imagine. And yet it still does well. In fact, it does exceptionally well. 2.5% profit. That's both the last and the average. So something that you could easily work on and let tick away in your portfolio safely with controlled exposure. The cryptocurrency markets are in a tumultuous state right now, particularly with the Western cultures and the amount of legislation and regulation that's being talked about. Having tools like Jackrabbit TV is exp inexpensive, or indispensable excuse me, for the amount of trading that you can do with such control and finesse. Remember that the most important part of protecting your portfolio is risk management. The updates to the ATR module are just one of many steps that Jackrabbit TV provides. So if you're interested in it and you want to check it out, check out my Patreon. In fact, subscribe to it. Send me a message and I'll get it turned on so you can access it. And then you can use this kind of a technique in your own trading to mitigate risks. All of the modules are, are constantly updated and maintained. And I refine the algorithms on a regular basis. This is just one of many that you will find within the Jackrabbit TV system. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as it helps the channel grow. If you have any questions, please leave a comment either here or on the Jackrabbit support server. I answer every comment. If you're not subscribed and you want to subscribe, then you'll get updates whenever I put out new information. Thank you for watching. And until next time.